I'm about to put the Jeff in fantasy. Back at the Salvation Army. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. If they don't even have the sign anymore, what else, what could they possibly have inside? I don't know. Let's go in. Let's go and check it out. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you made it back safely from that trip to Salvation Army. And before I show you what I got there, we're going to check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. Magic Duff Bucket, you know the thing. A Galactic Cowboy, a thrift store beer for a thrift store run. I'm only pouring this because this is the last one out of the four pack. It's the last one I'll ever have. Um... And, you know, I don't want to waste a beer. I only have so many to go around. And I want to make each beer, my supply last as long as possible. So I'm going to even drink the ones I don't really care for. And confirm why I don't care for them. So, so what did I get at Salvation Army? Well, let's get, let's get into it, you know. Um... People say without further ado, after there's been a lot of ado. And I don't want to ado. So I found this. It is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk. I don't have this book. And I wouldn't have bought a paperback if I saw a paperback there. But something about this library book just called to me. It's like, you know, those those hardcovers that you only got at the library. I'm not sure why they were like that. But when I was a kid, all library books were like this. They were soft covers rebound. Because this is paperback paper. Paperbacks rebound into hardcovers with this sort of laminated. They're not printed. It's laminated. It's, it's like the cover was cut off and sticked. Stuck sticked on the on the on the book itself so when i saw that i'm like oh, i i remember when every every library book was like this and i loved it i loved it so i had to get it uh, and, and on top of it it's it's a book a chuck polinick book i don't have and fun fact almost every chuck polinick book i get is from a thrift store that salvation army has given me countless chuck polinick books Second and Charles gave me Beautiful You. Is that the name of the book? Whatever. And uh, uh, throughout my thrifting, I've, I've found and accumulated almost the entire Chuck Palahniuk library. So, but this is cool. And I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but the little library card here with the date, even though it's not stamped, there's just something about it that feels like it's a design element and not that it's an X library. The, the, the barcode there, the barcode in the back, the sticker. Um, it all adds to the appeal for some reason for me with this book. So, a Chuck Palahniuk book, yes? Yes, it's like, uh, what, $2, $2.95 I paid, $2.95. Very fun find. I don't know how many more of these I would want, but it's a fun find. So before I get to this next one, have a seat, have a sip. I got a little bit of a story. Um, I believe it was back in 2018 when my kitchen fell apart. Oh, wait, before my kitchen fell apart, Grim Oaks Press announced they were doing Lord Fowl's Bane. 
me, not uh, a fantasy fan, um, didn't know a damn thing about Lord Fowl's Bane. I didn't even know Grim Oaks Press existed. But the chatter on the boards was favorable. A lot of people were saying that Lord Fowl's Bane was their favorite fantasy book. And I was a man with some means, so I, I hit up Grim Oaks Press. I placed an order for Lord Fowl's Bane, and I even sprung for the additional slipcase. So I had that all set, ready to go. I'm like, I'm going to try out fantasy. The only fantasy I've read is basically Clive Barker, and that's more horror fantasy in my opinion. It's fantastical, but it's not really fantasy the way I imagine fantasy. Game of Thrones, ancient past, men with axes, wearing animal skins. That's kind of how, I don't know if I'm categorizing fantasy correctly, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I have no real foundation of fantasy. So um, I thought, you know, I want to get into this. I want to give it a shot and see what all the hubbub is. <clears throat> so I bought it and then my kitchen fell apart. So sorry, I got to that part before I got to the Lord Fowl Baines part, but my kitchen fell. Basically the ceiling fell to the floor because water was running for 24 hours up there and it and water gets heavy and it just just rained and I was out of my house for 9 months. That's why if you go back and see some of my old unboxings, you see a lot of videos of me in an empty house in different stages of echo because the place was empty and I did some unboxings here. So, so I canceled it. I, uh, I thought, Oh, I have no money. This is a disaster. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even know if I have an address to send books to. So I'm going to cancel this one. It was an impulse buy. They were awesome there. Sean Speakman was great. They, they canceled the order. They said, no worries about it. Hopefully your situation writes itself and you're able to, um, to, to, jump back on with a with a fantasy book, right? So that was a long time ago, and I'd, I'd since recovered from that tragedy before going on to other tragedies and, uh, you know, misfortunes. So anyway, uh, but it's always been in my mind. I'm like, ah, you know, I, I, I'd like to give that book a read. Well, I was at Salvation Army, and what do you know? As soon as I walk in, I walk past the shelf, and this baby is just sticking out at me on the shelf. A slipcase, three book set of uh, the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, the Unbeliever. So as you can see, yes, yes, Lord Fowl's Bane, the Ilyth War, and the power that, uh, the power that preserve? Uh, oh, the power that preserves. There's a sticker on the spine that I couldn't see it. Okay, so... All three of these books, and they're in like they're in decent shape. I mean, there's a there's a ding on the slipcase uh, right here, and you know there's a there's a ding up here. So you know it, it's a rough and tumble kind of thing, and and there's some dings down here on the corner. I don't know if you can see that. So it they're not mint, you know. I mean, is what I'm saying. They're not mint, but so what? Uh, so, and these are cool. And these are from 1983. I looked it up. I couldn't find it on the copyright page. But I looked up uh, the ISBNs online. And yeah, they're from 83. Um, there's a ding there. So uh, that's not important. So I'm like, wow, this is cool. And I'm, I'm digging I'm digging the, the cover design. They're, they're pretty neat. So I was happy. And I got all three in a slip case, you know, for their protection for uh, seven bucks. Hell of a find. And so this book and Night Tastings are in my TBR pile for uh, this book, Deathless, and Night Tastings are making up my November TBR. Lord Fowl's Bane. Um, you know, it's funny. There was a, a piece of cardboard that was even still in the slipcase because the slipcase isn't all that great of a fit for the books so the previous owner took the cardboard in there to make it a better fit i assume and um there it all is i i i i think that's cool i think that's cool um so i'll be reading some fantasy 
I'll, I'll give a book review of Lord Fowl's Bane. Um, I don't know if this is the Bane from Batman. It's a joke. Brothers! So, I will be reading this in November. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy for this haul. Lullaby. Uh, Thomas Covenant to Unbeliever thing. Fantasy. I think, you know, November's looking for a paranormal romance and fantasy. The dude is stepping out of his comfort zone. And I'm digging it. You know, I'm digging it. I don't think I'm going to be reading 30, uh, 50 Shades or anything. Or Twilight or nothing like that. But, you know, we're stepping, we're stepping into a new Jeff. New, new Jeff. And that's all for this uh, book haul. Um, sound off what you think of this uh, fantasy stuff, man. Sound off what you think of uh, Lord Fowl's Bane and uh, Stephen Donaldson. I do know some people didn't really care for this and were turned off by the behaviors of Thomas Covenant in in what he does when he goes to the fantasy land or whatever it is. He does some. He's not a likable hero. He's he's sort of an anti-hero. It's not a likable character, and I think that's a turnoff for a lot of people. At least that's the chatter. I'll have my own opinion, freshly minted, come December. So wish me well. And uh, until then, stay frosty. Well, don't not until then. You know, watch other videos between now and then. <laughs> Get your friends to subscribe and, and like the video and comment and all that, all that necessary stuff. But while you're doing all that, Stay frosty.